Hi guys, today is October 28th and as you can see, I am still not in my flat. Um, to catch those of you who have been seeing this, 46 days ago, I was moved out of my flat by Guinness Homes into a flat that isn't mine. Um, across town on the other side of the Vivid Thames because the lift, um, which had broken down over 35 times in two years, finally got their attention. The other 34 times, Guinness said that hopefully it would be the last time that it would break down. That wasn't the case. I finally got an article in the Independent published about the situation. And lo and behold, all of a sudden, they wanted to move me to a service department. Now, just for a few more details, I own my flat outright. I bought it two years ago. Um, it was a new build then, so there's no reason for this list to be breaking down over and over again. Um, they have displayed signs of discrimination as a company. They have done nothing to help me compensate for the fact that I've lost work. I've showed up to auditions requesting a female wheelchair user without my wheelchair. Um, and they said in writing that there's nothing they can do to help me, quote, come and go from my flat while the lift is broken down. So they've been very unhelpful. As with the day 46, I thought it would be time to start a new YouTube series about documenting um, the problem of being exiled due to lift. That's the hashtag, exiled due to the lift. Um, I'm sure if you hashtag it sooner or later, stuff will pop up. We're gonna use that on Twitter, we're gonna use that on Facebook, and we're gonna use that over here on YouTube. And I'm starting this episode today, on Monday, for a very particular reason, and that is I found out yesterday that a man died, um, in his flat, uh, over in Kensington in Chelsea, which is over by Grimville Tower, um, and the lift in their building had not been working for over six months, since about May, from the looks of the correspondence that I've been forwarded by one of the residents. A man died surrounded in his flat. Um, you know, and there's lots of reasons why people can die very suddenly. But mental health had to be a contributing factor here. Because he was on the fourth floor um, Peabody is the local management company of this building who apparently says that they ask all the residents if any of them were vulnerable and needed the lift. And according to them, everyone said no, they did not, which 
isn't true. There are elderly people in this building. This man had mobility issues in that he was an amputee and used a wheelchair there's another individual with disabilities in this building. Where do management companies get off saying that they consulted their residents when they clearly hadn't? Guinness did the same thing in the independent article. They are on record of in this article saying that they asked everyone in our building for um, who, if anyone needed assistance, and they made arrangements with everyone in the building, and that's a lie. <laughs> that's a Trumpian level lie. Um, and I do not understand why management companies, and it isn't just Peabody, it isn't just Guinness. Over and over and over, we, I have heard of situations across the UK where disabled people and elderly people cannot leave their flat for months, for months and months and months. Um, and that's not okay. There is... Mobility is a basic human right, and everyone in this culture just seems to think a lift is a luxury, and for a lot of people it is, but for some of us it's a necessity, and I know these people don't mean to discriminate, but they are. Cutting off someone's movement for months is discrimination. We consider health bound a form of punishment. It's not a good thing, even if you're an introvert like me. House arrest is a form of punishment, and then disabled people are just expected to tolerate it as an inconvenience. Not good enough. Not good enough. And I am done having conversations about this with people that want to insist that it isn't an infringement of my rights. I am done having conversations about this with people that insist that it's just an inconvenience and I'm overreacting and done because those conversations go nowhere and they put the burden on me, the victim, to prove to you who doesn't want to listen that I am really misunderstanding the entire situation. It's been 46 days that I have not been in my flat, which I pay for. I have no mortgage. I pay for it in cash. And we're told by salespeople that it would constantly be at my access and I could come and go because the lift wouldn't be out for more than 24 hours. This isn't good enough. So yeah, welcome to my new YouTube series, YouTube series, Exile Due to Lift. This should be real fun. You are loved, you are precious, and you can take multitudes, even if you're a linker that doesn't understand discrimination. Bye.